Let's talk about the best form of broccoli. Now, what is so special about broccoli? Well, it has a very interesting compound called sulforaphane, and sulforaphane has been heavily studied. It activates the NRF2 pathway in your body. Well, it will help you express over 200 different genes relating to producing more antioxidants, helping you with inflammation. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory and it helps to turn poisons into harmless particles. And so it helps you detoxify certain things in the liver. But what I think is more interesting is its anti-cancer properties. In fact, John Hopkins University, or at least someone in that university tried to get the patents on broccoli sprouts long ago until they found out you can't patent a sprout. So if they were trying to get patents, there must be something to these broccoli sprouts, which we're going to talk about. But sulforaphane helps to excrete carcinogens, things that can trigger cancer. So not only does it have anti-cancer properties, it helps get rid of those things that can cause cancer. It's also good for your cardiovascular system. So let's go ahead and compare raw broccoli to broccoli sprouts. And this is going to be based on the same uh, amounts, 100 grams. So in raw broccoli, we have sulforaphane being 44 to 171 milligrams. Now, if we compare that to broccoli sprouts, we have 1,153 milligrams. That's 10 times as much sulforaphane as in raw broccoli. You wouldn't necessarily have to keep making broccoli sprouts. You can get it in a powder as well. All right, now let's take a look at calcium. Calcium is 42 milligrams versus 78 milligrams. So it has twice as much calcium. And then vitamin A in raw broccoli has 567 international units versus 300 international units in broccoli sprouts. And you have vitamin C, 89 milligrams versus 58 milligrams. Iron, 700 milligrams versus 720 milligrams. So if you want the benefits of sulforaphane, definitely do the broccoli sprouts. Now there's one more point I wanna bring up, absorption. Okay, so when you're consuming raw broccoli, you're getting about 19% absorption. As compared to the broccoli sprouts, you're getting 74% absorption. And because sulforaphane is a fat-soluble compound, if you consume it with a meal or with some olive oil or another fat, you can get even better absorption. So if you're enjoying my content, which I hope you are, and you're applying this knowledge to your health, and you have a success, I'd really appreciate you sharing your success story. So click the link down below to my website where you can upload your success story so you can help inspire others.